this question is for you long time ago there was a film called the accused and it made a uh, it made a very uh, strong impact on me as a child rami have you seen that film the accused no uh, i th it th that was a film i think meg ryan was there it was a film on rape now the film was not the film does not start with the rape it starts with the fact that the two people who rapes the rapes a woman in a bar who thought that she was inviting they were already booked the film was about those who were watching the woman, woman getting raped the film was about those who were cheering the men who were raping the women and the film was about those mute spectators who saw a woman rape and did not report it so film was not about the people who were part of the act the film was about people who were standing at the bar cheering jeering not informing the police you know it, this incident reminds me of that why is this debate about only or conversation about ki kinhone kiya wo jo 100 log chal rahe the karthik the word with madam guite has to leave okay. wo 100 log jo chal rahe the they are all responsible madam guite see this is yeah exactly you have pointed it rightly this is a political rape which is going on you know it's not the fault of that individual two girls it's a political rape and here that's why it's it becomes more pertinent and important for us to realize that how as a community the zo kuki are so unsafe and vulnerable in under the governance of the manipur state and that is also further strengthening the demand for a separate administration because the women children none of us are safe in the valley under the manipur government or let me if i sound it to be a little crude i can say under the meeting government because now it's entirely run by the uh, meeting people the in the cabinet the mlas you won't see any tribal mla sitting there and uh, deciding on the law and order situation over there see besides the capital punishment that as you are pointing out that a commission should be con uh, constituted to look into what is happening against women and children besides that and besides the cap capital punishment which may be meted out to them as promised by the cm but besides that what is needed for a long lasting peace is that separate total separate administration for these people otherwise with so much of the hatred and the wounds has gone so deep so deep that it is impossible to live together to coexist together with perpetrator of this nature of this barbaric nature no humanity there is a total humanitarian crisis and as i repeat again it is just a tips of the iceberg now uh, mr swahas chakma also joins me hasina uh, isn't this right isn't this only about the pe why should it be limited to the people who are involved in the act it should be about everyone who walked cheered and jeered i am not saying you know this is not a this is uh, i am not one of those who say sabko phansi de do but they should be put through the course of law All of them, 250 of them, जिसको जो सजा कानून दे दे पर मिलनी तो चाहिए Yes, Karthik. I think uh, the people who have not come forward to actually act upon the situation are also, you know, part of the rape. I would say that because there are there are also women out there. How could it be that they were not protecting other women folk? Forget about. you know the minority being used but it's about women in totality women protecting other women no matter what the conflict and situation might be taking place we have been speaking that over and over again the law and order and situation is failing out constantly and there's nothing that is being acted upon it but how could be other women who are also you know watching the incident not protecting those women who has been dragged and raped in public I think that is the biggest question. How can that humanity be lost? If that is the thing, then you will see more and more situation where there will always be minority being taken, you know, into this situation and they're being raped and the others watching. So this is very much political in nature. But at the end of the day, as a woman, I stand that how can other women be watching that situation without 
acting as a group? This is the biggest question.